Go on, Dan, Dan. Go on. Oh, go on your lure. Oh, my lure. Oh. Holy shit. Holy shit. How oh, good was that, Ace? I turned my body to get it on the camera, man. <clears throat> oh. It's going back, bro. Oh yeah, boys! First cast of the day. Good fish. Yeah, I'm all right, man. How deep is it, Rhino? Good camera. Good camera. How good was the bite? So was. When I've seen okay, he's, he's got a hook up. Danny, just Danny come and, and grab the camera. camera. Wow. Is that thing big? Yeah. <sighs> How good was that? Fast wine, man. It fucking stirs them up, eh? <laughs> Did you see how much line he took? I haven't had a GT tank line yet. This trip, apart from on the bait caster. On the dart wing. I can see him. Oh, the back. Yeah, proper spinal, good size spinal. Yeah, he's just here, bro. He's pretty solid. All right. He's a good fish, boys. He's only just cooked, man. When you bring him up, try and bring him to the back here a little bit. Oh. He's a good fish, boys. He's only just cooked, man. Don't fucking teabag me. He's only just no, cooked. No, no, he's good hooked. Woo! You are right? Can't reach the tail. Oh. I got it, I got it. I got it. Yeah, I'll grab the right. Give me a rod. Ready? Give me a rod. One, two, three. Oh, he's fucking good! Woo! <laughs> 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 that is. Fuck yeah! That's upper 30s. That's fucking big, man. That thing is huge. Oh, he's fucking. No, I reckon he's a lot bigger than 30. He's 38 at least, if not, if not scratching 40. <laughs> okay, you, you, you start fish. fishing for the day. Right, was that the best Did fucking? Make your was that the best right? bite you've ever seen? Hectic bite. I hope I got it on my GoPro properly because I I, I turned. 
to get it on there oh, properly. I've got, I've got it on here as well. What a fish, man. Come on. Look at that. The dart wing from the bait caster yesterday <laughs> tied it on P fucking 10. That's fucked. Okay, put, him in, put him in the front. Let's get this good. He's legit. That's legit. Biggest banger I've caught in a while. Look at my leg shaking. Can you see that? You got a twitchy knee. Yeah. Does he look big? Look at my leg shaking. Oh. Get out of the Danny. You know it's a big fish when you look at its tail from the top. My, my other leg's going now. we got to get him in. Oh, Johnny. He's big, bro. You want to have a water shot? Yeah. Look how thick he is. Cheers, boys. Woo hoo! Do we have any beers? Big fishing stop for you now. Okay, big fishing stop for me, okay. Yo guys, so that was, um, I was up in Airlie Beach fishing with Danny, as you probably all got, all you guys know, Danny, Dennis Verrett, land-based German lunatic, and Ryan, um, They've started a fishing charter up there out of Airlie Beach, full drag sport fishing. You can find it on Instagram. I'll put a thing down below. Um, they bought a 25 foot contender, which is mental. It's the sickest boat I've pretty much ever fished out of. So they've bought that. Um, Ryan's going to be the skipper. So now you can go and fish with, with Ryan and um, fish the Great Barrier Reef, which is where we were here. Fish the islands off early if it's a bit too windy to get out to the reef. And the options up there are just ridiculous. There's like, um, obviously if it's glassy like like this day, um, you can go out to the reef, you can catch. If you want to catch GTs, you can catch GTs pretty much all day or until your arms allow you to catch them or don't allow you to catch them. You can fish the flats for pretty much like 20 different species of fish. You throw um, small sinking stick baits in the shallows, uh, coral bombings and stuff, and there's coral trout, there's all kinds of emperor, there's job fish, there's big Maori wrasse, you still get GTs. It is, for me, it's the funnest place to fish on the planet, and I've travelled a few places now to go fishing, and the Great Barrier Reef is still probably the best fishing I've ever experienced. It's ridiculous. Yeah, the islands in that area, there's a lot of big GTs. All the bigger GTs seem to stay in on those islands. Um, out on the reef, there's sheer numbers and you can catch millions of them. But the big ones are a bit harder to come by. So those islands are really good for the big ones. But if you're fishing the islands, you've got to be onto it because you might only get those few chances a day at a fish. But the ones that you generally get are that... 30 kilo sort of fish so really good fish um yeah other than that the spanish there's shitloads of spanish lots of big ones around there at certain times of the year they get really good um black marlin and sailfish as well off early so um the options are ridiculous even the um, barramundi fishing up there is really really good so that's why i like to go to early quite a bit is just like if it's windy you can fish the islands or you can fish the river for barra and threadies or you can fish the dam for the really big barra so 
it's an incredible place and obviously i can't recommend these guys enough if you're thinking about doing a charter there's heaps of good charter operations in queensland in cairns obviously harry from coral sea sports fishing that i fished with before he's the man but if you don't want to go that far and you're in the whitsundays early zone hit up ryan and dennis and um ryan will put you on to fish for sure in this video um i'm using my zanac tabizo 8200 um p10 taz line 200 pound liter and that lure the nomad dartwing it's the first time i've ever used it was on this trip and um you can see danny's throwing a sinking stick bait for this fish and it barred his lure and came for the dartwing because the dartwing it's just it's super simple you hold your tip high and you wind as fast as you can and for some reason it just sends them absolutely crazy so it's a really cool lure and the strikes you get from using that lure are ridiculous so yeah really good lure um casts are really far as well which so it's it's good for if you're prospecting and covering ground so what else don't know um the rest of this trip actually this is what else the rest of this trip you'll be able to watch on fish flicks i know a lot of you guys haven't heard of fish flicks before um fish flicks is where i've been putting the majority of my content um i had a comment on my last video saying i thought you were dead um i haven't been dead i've just been putting a lot of exclusive content on fish flicks so there's like 50 something episodes on there now so if you are wanting to watch more and you want to watch the rest of this trip the rest of this trip will be exclusive to fish flicks so um again i'll put a link down below it's like it's a subscription based thing it's eight bucks a month so you don't buy two coffees a month and you get to watch unlimited fishing on demand whenever you want. There's um, all kinds of other guys on there. Rex Hunt, Big Angry Fish Dudes, Bergy, all those big TV jimmies as well. So it's pretty cool. I think that's about it. I reckon. Another news, I'm just about to move house. By the time this goes up, I will probably have moved house. I'm moving to the Gold Coast. So if you see me around the Gold Coast area, come say good day, and we might go fishing somewhere. I'll be looking for new areas to fish. It's winter, so the mangrove jack fishing won't be happening, so I've got to find something else to do. But yeah, thanks heaps for watching. Hope you enjoyed this bite, this fish. It blew my fucking mind, so hopefully it blew yours too. Cheers, guys. You.